What's going on guys? Asian guy here alongside my wife. And today we will be reacting to the two Yaimiko trailers. One came out in the middle of the night today and the other came out a few days ago. I will also be touching on the character and weapons banner that are incoming. The weapons banner looking mm, chef's kisses right now. So let's begin with the trailer. I believe this is the one that came out overnight. Hoyo verse. Uh oh. I then found myself reborn as Guji Yai, leading shrine maidens in sacred matters, sipping tea and kneeling in solemn meditation, and making appearances to listen to shrine visitors. Enough. Oh, this won't do. We're making a light novel here, not a dry documentary. Huh? What? And honestly, do you really think I lead such a boring existence? Hmm? Wow. No, not at all, Lady Gucci. That's Chief Editor to you. Ah, uh, yes, Chief Editor. A light novel begins with pure imagination. For example... For example... I must say, this is quite the cunning trap. Wow! Wow! So elegant! Oh, the fox is. into your trap or have you walked into mine oh the reverse who know Damn, that's unlucky, bro. Just do it. Exercise me. Exercise me. <laughs> Exercise you? But I thought you weren't ready to return to the cycle. So first, let me show you what a cruel world this can be. Oh. Wow. Oh. The oh. fan service. It's so graphic. You'd never really do something like that, would you? <laughs> Splendid. When the reader starts asking that question, you know you've written a good one. Oh my uh, god. Uh. That definitely is a bunch of people who are down bad. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Are you? I mean, I'm going to be pulling for her, but not, not Constellation 6 material yet. Here we go. Next, this was when Mihoyo was still Mihoyo and not Hoyo verse. Oh, why do I feel like the standard of writing is going down by the day? Are my editors even doing their jobs? Huh? Ooh, this one's interesting. I won't be bored out of my mind tonight after all. What do you think, Lady Guji? Erika's got some cooking skills, huh? Mmm, the fried tofu is cooked to perfection. Tender and juicy. The kushikatsu are freshly made, and the taste is quite to my liking. I'll take a few boxes worth to go, please. Wow, a few boxes! What a baller! Lady Guji is this world's best editor, if you ask me. She's a crafty fox who's always playing mind games. Truth be told, Yaimiko is an upstanding shrine maiden. Hey, she's that fox lady I ate ramen with that time. <sighs> she's a scary lady who voices me. Oh, Sayu, <laughs> Lady Peach's voice. <laughs> a few hundred years on, 
and the little girl that always wanted shoulder rides is all grown up. Oh, who's that? Mm. 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 Oh, I think both of them are really good. Both of them? Both of the trailers. Oh, it's all right. Really? It's all right. Really? I mean, yeah, I mean, aesthetically, I've wanted for ages. Anyway, so I feel like the charm has slowly worn off. Oh. Also, because I may or may not have seen her elemental burst a very long time ago. What? In a dream. Really? Yeah, in a oh, in a yeah. dream. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, dreamt yeah. about the elemental burst a long time ago. So, yeah. you know, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, she's definitely gonna come home at least constellation zero. Her R1 weapon minimum. But that trailer compared to like, for example, Zhongli's or Raiden's or Ito's wasn't as, wasn't as, it wasn't as flashy. No, but I think it like tells you a lot about yeah. her personality. And I like her personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get to know that side of her. Oh yeah, so it's going to come down to gameplay, whether or not I, I end up pulling. So we'll see. Alrighty guys, let's very briefly talk about the character banner and the weapons banner. As you can see here, Everbloom Violet with Yaimi Cole. We've got Dion Official and also Toma. All pretty good constellations. I know Toma is considered a little bit copium if you're not running Hu Tao or another Pyro character, for example. And yeah, I do find it a little bit frustrating that I would say some of the more recent four stars aren't as good especially without constellations compared to some of the OGs, of course, like Young Benete and we've got Sing Cho as well. They're both very, very good characters, even without constellations. Sucrose is another one as well. But all of these constellations are obviously a nice bonus to have, especially if you don't have them. Toma, I don't even have him at, at constellation one. I think I have him constellation one. So if I can get him out to constellation six, that would be excelente. Yeah, Miko, will I go for constellation six? I don't think so. Honestly speaking, you could probably tell from my reaction in the video that because Yaimiko has been in the game for so long, but as a non-playable character, her hype has kind of fallen off for me because she's been there for so long and I'm just like, oh, she's finally here. That's cool. It's not something new. It's not something fresh. We've known she's an Electro user. And of course, as I touched on earlier, because I saw her Elemental Burst a very, very long time ago, the charm and the recency bias is definitely not there as strong as it used to be. Having said that, personality-wise, she is probably in my top three, top five characters because I absolutely love her personality. I think she is fantastic and a very, very funny character. Well, by funny, I mean like, you know, she just like me for real, guys. She just like me for real. But Epitome Invocation, now this banner is quite disgusting. It's very, very, very good. Unless you get extremely unlucky and you keep getting yourself the Rain Slasher or the Eye of Perception. You've got the Stringless on there, which is great. Wave Breaker's Fin, which is not bad. And then you have got the Sacrificial Sword, which is a disgustingly good weapon to have. Even as an F2P player, this is a weapon if you have it like R3, R4, R5. It's a complete game changer if you're using characters like Sing Cho. You need another energy recharge weapon. It's very, very nice to have. But the main thing here, guys, is, of course, the beloved Jade Cutter. I think it's no secret now for a lot of people that the Jade Cutter is cracked. It's actually disgusting. It gives you a little bit more tankiness, gives you more attack power, and most importantly, a ridiculous amount of crit rate, which allows you to build your character and have really nice, even rounded stats very, very easy. As I always say for my DPS characters, I always want at least 70% crit rate and over 200% crit damage. If they're not ascending with crit damage, that is. If they're ascending with crit damage, then probably at least 230% crit damage. But those are like whale standards, AR59 or AR60 players kind of thing. So otherwise, if you're like a casual player, I would say if you can go for 70% crit rate and like 150, 160% crit damage, that's a very, very good ratio to have but jade cutter makes it super super easy now the other weapon here kagura's verity which is the weapon that has caused a lot of controversy on twitter because people are getting angry on behalf of this weapon for calling it a cupcake holder yes people are angry on behalf of japanese people 
let me tell you what, Japanese people, including myself, don't really care. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a weapon. This weapon is, it's getting mixed feedback, but what I will say is, for Yaimiko specifically, it's a good weapon. It's basically designed to be for her. For other characters who can't spam their elemental skill like she can, it's actually not that great because you're most likely going to run out of the charges. The way this weapon works is it has three stacks. Once you stack up the three stacks, which is what you're meant to do with Yaimiko's elemental skill, then you get a big elemental damage bonus and kaboom, kachow, blah, 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 blah. And it's for Yaimiko essentially. And I can't think off the top of my head which other Catalyst characters can spam their elemental skills and do damage at the same time other than Yaimiko right now. So I don't think this weapon is that great unless you're going for it on Yaimiko. And it ascends with crit damage. Yaimiko, I had a dream ascends with crit rate. So it's a match made in heaven. So yeah, guys, this weapon though, this weapon's banner, I think is pretty good. If you are going for Yaimiko, and you either lose the 50-50 on this banner, or it's not a 50-50, it's a 37.5% chance. So 75% for either of these weapons. Both of these weapons are good to have. They're pretty decent weapons to have. But of course, the Stringless, the Wave Breaker's Fin, and especially the Sacrificial Sword are all excellent weapons to have. So that is worth keeping in mind. Very, very rarely do I recommend people go in for a weapons banner. This is one of those occasions where both of the banner weapons are mwah. If you're a Yaimiko fan, both of the weapons are mwah. If you're not a Yaimiko fan, then of course you don't really want the Cupcake Holder weapon. So yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. Good luck on your Yaimiko summons. I will be doing scammons on my Twitch channel, www.twitch.tv forward slash Asian guy stream. And of course, I'll be rolling for Yaimiko myself as well as the weapon. And of course, if I lose and I get another Jade Cutter, not the end of the world. I'll definitely take another Jade Cutter. So yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and bye-bye.